Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and I'm going to do a Game Maker tutorial here for you. This is my most basic tutorial, like lowest level. So anybody that's follow been following my other videos, this one's going to be pretty basic, but I would still recommend watching it because it's going to be really short, and it's going to kind of pound in the basics for you. So they're going to come back up again. So this in this tutorial, I'm just going to teach how to use coding in Game Maker because the scripting language in Game Maker is very very powerful. So if you've never seen Game Maker before, this is what it looks like. This is the Mac version. The Windows version looks very similar, only it's kind of black, but everything's in the same spot. So first thing we're going to do is come up here and we're going to click create a sprite. That's this little image right here. And I sure hope my thing was filming the Game Maker. I'm not sure if my screen recorder was working right, but okay, we're going to name the sprite player and edit sprite and it's going to be I'm just gonna make it blue and let's see we'll leave that the way it is oh let's see one more thing we want to turn off transparent um, duplicate sprite wall now if you're in the Windows version you probably don't have to worry about the transparent so because you should have a transparent background now we'll make this black. That looks great. We're not really focusing on the sprite editing here, so come up here and we're going to click create an object right here. We're going to name this object player. We're going to assign that sprite to it, which is just that image. We're going to create another object, name this one object wall. We're going to assign that wall sprite to it. Now we're going to create a new room. That's this button right here. And inside this room, we're going to, I don't know, Let's, well, first I'm going to set the snap to 32 by 32 just to make this easier to place. I'm going to, I don't know, build a little wall. So this would be like if you're going to build a Zelda or a Pac-Man game or a Pokemon type game. This would be kind of how you could start uh, with just the coding part. Okay, once we've got that placed in the room, I'm going to press this green check mark button. Now I'm going to go to the player right here and we're going to add an event. And an event uh, is just something that happens in the game and then we get to choose what happens when that event happens so let's do a step event and the step event happens basically every 30th of a second during our game so click on that we'll do that now come over to here on your side menus here and we're gonna go to uh, control and there's one here that's execute code drag that over into the actions so these are the actions that are gonna happen when the step event is performed so the first thing we're gonna do is um, you don't have to type these in. I like to type these in uh, just because it starts a block of code for me, but technically you don't need those. So let's do if keyboard check vk right and place 3 um, x plus 4 y. Great. So that's the first line of code we're going to do here. I'm going to put a space here just to make that look nicer. So what this does is it says if you're pressing the right key and the place to the right of you, four pixels to the right of you, is empty, then we're going to do something. What do we want to do? We want to move to the right. So let's do oops, four uh, x plus equals four. So we'll move to the right with a speed of four. Now we're going to do an else if. That's basically just another if statement, but we want it to be an else if because we don't need to be able to press right and left at the same time. So we're going to do keyboard check vk left and place free x minus 4. Why? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I love teaching Game Maker. Tap, oops, 4 x minus equals 4. So what does that do? Well, we're going to move to the left if uh, we can. So we're going to check to make sure that the place to the left of us is empty, and if it is empty, we'll move there. If it's not empty, we'll, we'd like move into a wall. So we do want to be able to press up and down along with the left and right keyboard, so we're not going to do another else if, we're just going to start an if. If keyboard Oh my gosh, I can type. I can never type keyboard, actually. Anybody who's watched my videos would know. <laughs> and place free 
x, uh, let's see, x, y, minus 4. Uh, the y is inverted, so if you want to check up, it's negative. 4, y minus 4, minus equals 4, and else if keyboard check vk down and place free x y plus 4 y plus equals 4 okay so a few a couple things you need to know this just makes it so that we can move uh, some important things to note here is that the these curly brackets are kind of important in these situations especially if you uh, they're not necessarily important in this one but if you get more than a couple lines of code like this then they are important so the other thing to note is that when you do minus equals instead of just minus what that does is it subtracts four from your current position on the screen because if you just did like y equals four then it would just stick your player clear over in the corner where y is equal to four and it would mess up your game so that's this is relative to your current position so now one thing that we do need to do and I haven't done this in my other tutorial videos but we're going to start doing this because it's very important for you guys to learn is commenting stuff so this is going to be um, check to move the player right and left we're going to do it down here check to move the player up and down so you can comment whatever you want to I'm just gonna it just makes your code look nicer and it's more readable so that people can understand it okay let's go try this game oh one thing we need to do we need to make the wall solid because otherwise our check won't work for checking over to the right and we're gonna run this game now and see what happens and if you move the arrow keys you should be able to move and hopefully you can't move in the walls yep looks good so this is just the very very basic like pac-man type game you know but you could expound on this like this is the same mechanics of a lot of different games like zelda or like pokemon the older game boy versions or whatever use this kind of mechanics so um, there you go it's your first lines of code that's super exciting i'm getting messages from my brazilian friend hold on just a second um, well anyways subscribe like Share this video with your friends. Let's learn Game Maker together. I've got a whole bunch of fun plans for my curriculum for the next few videos. I just wanted to share this quick one for anybody who might be starting out. This is the place to start. From here, it's, you know, I mean, what's that expression? The world is your oyster or whatever. I don't even know. So thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you guys later.